Welcome back to more coverage from Computex 2012 in Taipei. It won't take a rocket scientist to work out I'm at the Sapphire booth. And next to me is Father Christmas, or Bill as we call him. <laughs> Hi Bill. Hello. Hello. Right, over here is graphics. This is what you guys do best, or known for best. So what's new? Well, we're introducing several new models at the show. Um, obviously, the HD 7000 series has been very popular. Um, we have a version of uh, 7950 we're just introducing with our Flex technology. Um, you probably recall this is the technology that allows us to connect three DVI monitors directly in Ifinity to the card without the need for any external active adapters or anything like that. And we're taking a picture of it just now. How much more will that be than a regular card? Well, because we put the components onto the card, it only adds a few dollars of cost to the card, and that's reflected in the price of the end user. It's just a little bit more than the regular card. And so obviously, from your point of view, it's better doing this if you want to run three monitors than adding more expensive dongles and whatnot into the bundle itself. Well, yes, and you know, people have sometimes had a bit of trouble with external dongles in terms of reliability or even compatibility with certain monitors. So we know that if we build it into the card, it's a reliable solution. So, easiest by connection to three monitors via DVI. Straight out of the box. And looking a bit further down over there, you've got a 7770 Ultimate. So, a really wide heatsink and probably as about as good as you can get in terms of a passive card. Uh, yeah, this is a brand new card and actually it's a special design and we'll actually take it out and show it to you. The, uh, it's actually a specially designed PCB for this model because we put all the memory on the reverse side of the card with a heat spreader for the memory which allows us to use the main heat sink to take away all the heat from the GPU itself and the other active components. So it means it's a very compact solution for the power levels that we have and it's not too heavy in weight because this part of it is aluminium construction. Give me a hand. Right, so it's dual slot. Um, the heat sink seems pretty wide. Any chance of making that a bit smaller for the smaller chassis where people don't want or want quietness but don't want a huge card in there? Well, of course, we already have our 7750 model, which is physically smaller. But actually, yes, our product manager thinks we might be able to trim down the size of this just a little bit and still keep the heat in good limits. Right, you put that back. I'm going to quiz you a little bit more. So moving across this way, you've got the 7970s, and there you've got the 6 gig version of the VaporX. At this time, after, what, two, three months after CBIT, I was expecting a better card. Shall we say? Um, well, we're, yes, we have we've have indicated before that our plan is to do a toxic version of this with a 6 gig uh, frame buffer. At the moment, we're not hitting the kind of speeds we want to achieve with our toxic model, so we're actually selling this as a VaporX. But even then, um, we're hitting with our power boost button on, we're hitting clock speeds of 1100, which we expect people to be able to overclock even a bit further. And I've got to ask this question, how does that then compare with the competition's best single GPU card? That I won't name, just for you. Uh, well, I think we're pretty close. By the time we're, we, you get into these overclock arenas, and of course we have the big frame buffer, so it just depends on the application. Uh, if applications can make use of the big frame buffer, such as rendering or video uh, activities, things like that, um, they will see a benefit from using our card. Right. I'm going to say four numbers to you. 7990. Um, watch this space. <laughs> okay, moving on this way. <laughs> moving on this way. Um, oh, no, no, you want to show me some more? more that I'd like to show you, which is a very low profile um, 7750. This is a brand new design. It's not quite ready for production yet, but it's the first card that we've achieved this level of performance in a true low profile card. So it will fit in a mini ITX chassis or, or to HTPC, for example. Um, and it gives um, the true three outputs, so we've got dual link, DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort, so it's an Ifinity card in a very small format. And obviously you must have the little bracket, or there it is, that goes into a much, much smaller chassis. There we go, so we just transfer the connectors across to the small bracket and uh, it'll fit in a mini ITX box. How much? I uh, don't have a price yet, but the regular card is $100 or so, so we're not, again, we're not going to be much more expensive than a regular card. Yeah, so, so far, what you're trying to do is, obviously, you've got a bunch of SKUs from AMD, GPUs. You're trying to be as different as you possibly can. Yeah, our main differentiator has always been the coolers and the alternative connectivity, and that's really what we're bringing to the party again. Mm. I jumped the gun a bit earlier, but now we'll go this way. Motherboards. Uh, yeah, we're trying to increase our, our coverage of motherboards. Uh, we've got a Trinity design that's already done. I know they're not launching the, uh, the CPUs until later in the year, um, but we're 
Our design team is pretty active. Um, all of our current line of motherboards are actually designed within Sapphire by our own motherboard team. None of them are bought in designs. So that's why sometimes we've been a little bit late to market with a couple of our earlier models, but we're addressing that and we're expecting to come to market with the new models in a timely way. Uh, probably flavour of the last two months, or month or so at least, is Ivy Bridge, so Z77. What are you guys doing for that? We've got a Z77 design that's already done, but we're just making a few final tweaks to it before we come to market with it. And um, We're also looking at doing a mini ITX or a micro ATX version for the lower end of the market as well. OK, Bill. I'm going to let you finish this video. So, in one paragraph, what's Sapphire doing right now in the next three months or so that's going to get our readers and viewers excited? Well, we've got a lot of products that are not VGA that we're bringing to the market. So you've already seen our mini PC and our video splitters, for example. So really, we're just trying to broaden our approach to the market. And part of that will include addressing new vertical markets like digital signage with big displays and things like that. OK, Bill, thanks very much. OK, so lots of graphics cards and motherboards, but Sapphire's promising much, much more for the next three months.